Good evening, Mr. Guzman. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> How are you today? Fine. Really, really fine. Very, very good. Yes. We are going to wait for some of your classmates. It's early, teacher. Yeah, I don't know what's up, but just one minute for the class. It's early, no? Yep. Hmm? Uh, uh, comments on the other classmate. Hmm? Uh, Se conectarán. They are, they are going to be here, or maybe they are going to get link. Later, they are working. Uh, are they working or something like that? No, that's not. Mm -hmm. No, no, so. <coughs> Mr. Romero, good evening. Mm, good evening, teacher. How are you today, Mr. Romero? Uh, I don't did complete. Really? Yeah, and the meeting and the and the morning and the other plans and todo el día the forums. So you were out the whole day. Yes. Okay. Um, and then commenting on the tomorrow and the war and the night. And you have to work at night. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, and um the weekend chores and the uh, ah I mean and, and the weekend uh, is long because you are not going to work on Friday, you have to work tomorrow. Yes. Um, so so sorry. Good evening, Fatima. Good evening, Roberto. Okay, we are going to wait a little bit for your classmates. Okay, okay, we're on our way for your classmates.
Guillermo, good evening. Roxana, good evening. Gabriela, good evening. Anna, good evening. Almost everybody's here. So, Good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome again to everybody who has come here. We are going to follow it. Let me see. Let me see. Welcome again to another day in the paradise, okay? This is another day in the paradise. <laughs> English paradise. <laughs> hey, why do you smile, Mr. Romero? <laughs> like Mr. Collins says. Ah, being swag. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. This is another day for you and me in paradise. Oh, things switch. This is another day for you, for you and me in paradise. Do, do you? And I don't know. And we can say that uh, tomorrow is to, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is thir Thursday, but it's almost close to Friday because I imagine that some of you are not going to work on Friday. Am I wrong? No. Some of you are not going to work on Friday, no? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. No work. No, no. Don't work on Friday. Oh, it means that on Fridays, on Friday, you are going to wake up later. In my case, I have to work on Friday because I, as I work in a school, I have to work on Friday. I mean, it's, I'm going to envy you. Voy a envidiar a ustedes. No, pero uh, thanks to my illness, gracias a mi enfermedad, I have to be at home during these three days, okay? So, uh, remember we are in PNIT, Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, given by Inglés Corporativo, sponsored by Insafor. Okay. Um, okay, let's go and study a little bit about, so, can and could again. Let me see, it's gonna share. Remember that we were studying can and could, okay? Can we fill out the first sentence? It could be can or could. Let me see something. I'm gonna stop sharing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close my eye. No, 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 close my eye. No, no, no. Don't worry. Let me see. No more, no yet. Okay, that's it. That's it, that's it. Okay, let's gonna fill out these sentences to start the class. Remember that we were studying can, could, might, may, these, those, these, that. Those were the topics that we were studying in the unit number one, in the unit number two, remember. And also I send messages to the people who didn't finish their homeworks, okay? The first one, I don't know who wants to be a brave man, a victim, sorry. What will be? Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> what will be the answer? You can use, let me see, pass can, can. could or can't or couldn't. As in the past, it's talking about the past. Maybe ah, we'll be excellent. Like, it means uh, that is? I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. Exactly. I couldn't go. Very good, Mr. Beltran. I couldn't go to the party last night. And as Mr. Roberto Beltran says, last night, tell us. Uh, he's telling us that it's past, okay? Last night because I was sick. Very good. The second one. Could Noel cut Italian food? Yes. Maybe, but no. I mean, it could be like this is an ability. Remember, that is an ability. So, it's Ken. Ken. Exactly, because it's an ability. It's not like a. It's not like a question in past. It's like an ability. Can Noel cook Italian food? Mm -hmm. and yes, the, he can. yes, he can exactly because it's an ability. Okay, number three my sister can swing last year uh -huh. but no we can Excellent, but the point is here just um, a mistake. But it says my sister, when it says last year, it is telling past. It means that is couldn't. Couldn't. Exactly, because my sister couldn't swim last year. But right now she can. That's why right now she can. Okay, number four. Uh huh. Hello, hello. And calling couldn't so this they couldn't. Are you sure? Yeah, couldn't, couldn't is net. Uh, couldn't you we are talking about Negative. number four? Yeah, uh huh. And then the sentence has to say and repeat is calling, but yes, couldn't, uh huh, and couldn't, they couldn't they go. Couldn't. Mm -hmm. Couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. was closed. Was closed. Excellent. So, number five. Cool, Could, I mean, cool, exactly. The first, could you read when you were four, when you were four years old? And the answer, Margot? And Margot was no. Okay, the, 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 could you read when you were four years old? And the answer is yes. 
me. Mm -hmm. I can. Yes, I could. Because remember that it's past. Yes, I could. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Number six. Ellie can. Excellent. Ellie can read a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. Very good. Number seven. Ken. Uh, number seven, Ken or Ken. Kent with two, you know? Ken. Ken and Kent. I'm very tired, so I can't go out to the park to play. Number A. Mike. Sorry? Cool, you see. The Excellent. Moon the moon night. last night. And the answer is? And the answer is, sorry. No, oh, I you. couldn't. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Number nine? I'm gonna download. Uh huh. Number nine. Um, ten. Ken, exactly. When can I talk to you about the company report? Excellent. Number number nine. Number ten. Number ten. So it is it is a uh, homework. I'm gonna stop trading. I think so that I don't know what happened to you. Okay. We are going to go to the attendance time, attendance list. And the last one is cool. Most dinosaurs could. Most dinosaurs walk uh -huh, on, on land.
Okay, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Present teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Este, I'm Lailas. Uh, Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. I'm here. Teacher. Present. What? Gabriela, Disconecto mi cámara. Veo que algunos me están diciendo presente y no los he mencionado. Quizás se, no se me oye bien. Hola. Hola. Va, voy otra vez con Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. Ok. Siguiente. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Ah, ok. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. I hear teacher. Ok, hoy sí. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Yeah, again. <ríe> ok. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Mónica Liliana Ocotán. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Yamileta Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Ah, uh, right now I'm going to share this. Ok, discuss. I have three questions here. That is, did you go to the bar last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? Uh, who did you visit last weekend? Uh, remember, the first one is just yes, no question, and the other ones are info question. Where did you go last weekend? Oh, I didn't go to any place, or I went to the park, or I went to the cinema. Who did you visit last weekend? I didn't visit anybody, or... I visited my mom, I visited my grandma, I don't know, I mean, that's it. So, you have to discuss, you have to choose one of these three questions and ask to your classmate in order, okay? Let's gonna do it that way. Walter, ask to Roberto Guzman, please. You can choose whatever question. Cualquiera de las tres. Did you go to the park last weekend? Roberto Guzmán. No. I uh -huh. No, I, I couldn't. Excellent. Very good, Roberto Guzmán. Roberto Guzmán to Roberto Beltrán. Roberto to Roberto. Okay. Who did you visit last weekend? I... I went to church with my son, my mom, by car. Okay, very good. Okay, Roberto Beltran to Catherine Guadalupe that is coming right now. Uh huh. Um, I'm sorry, Mister. What of which of this question? Uh, did my 
my friend Robert to me. <laughs> Don't worry, he he asked you about uh, who did you visit last weekend? Uh, I was good, I was good, okay. You so, have to ask to, to Catherine Guadalupe Garcia. Okay, one of these three. I can choose whatever. Yeah. Okay. One of these one one okay. of these three. Okay, who did you visit last week? Two. Catherine, who did you visit last weekend, Catherine? Good evening. Good evening. I only went to church. You went to the church. Okay, you didn't visit anybody. Very good. Catherine to Gabriela Vasquez. The same. ¿verdad? Whatever, what, whatever of these three questions. Cualquiera. Yeah, that's whatever. La misma, parece. Okay. Okay, Gabriela, how did you visit last weekend? Who did you visit last weekend? Uh huh, Gabriela. <laughs> Busy. Ask to Margot then, please. Oh, Margot. Uh huh. Margot, who did you visit last weekend? <laughs> And repeat. Mm -hmm. Who did you visit last weekend? Mm. Do not visit anyone. Ah, okay. Excellent. <laughs> Ruth. Ruth to Ana Maria. No sé si Ana Maria can answer us. <clears throat> Ana Maria. Excellent. Did you go to the park last weekend? No. No. Excellent. So <laughs> Excellent. Ana Maria to David Armando. David. How did you visit last weekend? Who? Who? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, Ana Maria. Uh, no, it's no one. I am Slay. And... Okay. I... Okay. David Armando to Fatima Laura Mejia. Fatima Laura, where did, where did you go last the weekend? I went shopping. She went shopping. Very good. She has money. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima Laura to Roxana. Who did you visit this weekend? Roxana, are you there? I could not go to visit. Anybody. Okay. Good, Roxana. Roxana to Karen Castillo. Karen Castillo, where did you go last weekend? I went to the court to play softball. Excellent. Karen to Brenda. I don't know if Brenda can answer us. Hi, Brenda. Hello, uh, good evening. Good evening. Where did you go last weekend? Mm -hmm. Where did you go last weekend? Mm, I do dig up. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to stop saying, I don't know who's missing. Falta alguien a quien preguntar who's missing to ask? Hello. No. Okay. So let me see. I'm gonna open my camera again. I'm here. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It says 
that you have to go to 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, you are going to you are going to try to I mean you are going to have 10 minutes you are going to be sending to the breakout rooms and you are going to try to order this vocabulary according to the uh, to the customer company's representative. Okay, let's gonna see the vocabulary. Pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, receive. I mean, you have to order the, the words according to the customers. By example, the customer is gonna buy, maybe, and explain maybe the company representative, complain customer, uh, help company representative. You have to order the these words in each column, okay? You are gonna have like 10 minutes. So do you know what are you going to do? You got it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, maybe uh, we're gonna see here. Explain. And here we're gonna have like complain and so on. That's what you're going to do. You know what you're going to do? Do you have the example right now? Yes? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna be sending to the group. <clears throat> with me are 13 so 13 so what you were going to do always now for No, ven. No. 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 Me parece que ya lo estoy compartiendo. Ahora pero... sí. Ahora sí. Sí. Con. Atender es Com. la dos, ¿verdad? Anderson. Anderson. Company or represent. Creo que. Explain. Explain. Mahala. Twenty-nine. 
eh, get price son cosas que hacen los clientes. Get price. Benjamín, y ven, mira, présteme el lápiz, te ve por favor. Ahí la vemos. Excelente. Yes, ahí sí. Um, the, and the ready and the and the one pick up on the phone pick up es como como levantar coger teléfono uh -huh. entonces pick sería the, uh, the company representa sí and the two understand entender and customer Sí, ajá, mm, explain and company representative. Sí, ajá. Complain. Complain es como. Es reclamar. Ajá, es el customer, va. Sí. Mm. Explicar. Comprar, sí, pues sí, y obtener precio, pide ayuda también, él, verdad. ¿Cuál es el? El customer help. Ayuda. Sí, cuando quiere que le bajen algo o que le busquen talla, no sé. Digo yo. El cliente pide ayuda. No. Porque mmm, el teacher había puesto esa en company. O es solo era solo ejemplo. No, pero si era ejemplo, vaya, va. Va en company. Ajá. ¿Cuál? Ayuda. Mm. Le voy a poner esta que es más segura. Entonces, comprar. <risa> Esa sí, ahí la había puesto él en customer. customer. La 5, ayuda había puesto en company. en company. Sí, sí. Sí. Get right. customer. Customer. Um, customer provides one information. La uh, company company represent. La provide. Provides one information. information. Company. A company. Assist. Asistir. Uh -huh. Company. Yes. Company. Yes. Sí. We have explained to get price. Ocho hemos hecho, nos faltan ocho. Nos faltan dos, nos faltan cuatro. Vaya, aquí en... Teacher and the, the Knox, number two, understand, um, apply and to um, company and customer. I think so that is about the company, I mean. Because he has to understand what the client is asking for.
Understand para mí es el, es el la company. Entiende el cliente. Entender. Digo yo. Yes. Eh, yes, dije el teacher. Understand. Que aguante, que se vaya a medir todo y no compre nada. <risa> Understand. Eh. explain to a partner what activities what do what do for or for, for ya ver qué vamos a hacer estas otras preguntas usted las que las que están abajo sí dice Roberto elección ¿sí Roberto <laughs> <laughs> you want to go ahead with the work take it easy Roberto maybe you have to do it but first I have to explain to you what are you going to do mister estoy analizando lo siguiente <laughs> you are analyzing <laughs> take it easy that's okay I mean maybe I don't remember if we have to do it I think so that no today Not today. Toma una foto de las palabras que... Por bueno. favor, no uses el traductor, si no te puede confundir. Ay, no, qué terrible. Lo siento, la frase que has ingresado no la podemos traducir. Dale, el ejercicio. Y pienso que al final... Cuando salgamos afuera nos va a volver a dar la, la, la respuesta correcta y ahí la copiamos. Porque en verdad este, este tema aquí, como te digo, el cliente se queja. Que lo que hace la compañía responsable de vender al, al cliente es eh, ayudarle al cliente. Eso igual, para ayudarle, explicarle, no sé por qué lo pusimos complaint ahí donde dice complaint. El, normalmente el cliente se queja. Lo que hace el... el el customer service siempre helps the customer. Pero bueno, vos dijiste que pudiéramos eso, no, no sé, la verdad. Es que... dio esos ejemplos, te dije. Ah, pero igual, él no sabe si lo dio por solo por hablar así o algo. <laughs> Yo no, teacher. Continue, Mr. Beltran, I'm listening to you. See, you know, I already know you are here, but I tried to explain to explain her. Okay, but at the end, you have to try. I mean, maybe you have to know, by, as by example, uh, who pick up the phone? Who complains? I mean, even they have an order. Who complains? The client. The, the customer. The, 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 whole time the client, not the customer. Yeah. A, you are complaining by client. a phone. Who pick up the phone? The company who tries to understand, yes. who try to explain, I mean, something, who try to help, who try to request the information, and who try to assist. Okay. Ah, get price es la que he duplicado. 
que Sprite. Ah, vaya, ahorita lo corrijo. Ah, es la que yo expliqué, no sé qué. Sí, Just 12 people there are here. I don't know who's missing what. <sighs> okay. So right now I have to explain to you uh, the use of the past. Okay. Right now we are going to see that. Let me see. Okay. The simple past or the, the past. Okay. The past of the verb to be. Let me explain today. Okay. The verb to be in past. This is the way. Okay. The affirmative is I was, you were, he, she, and it was, we and you, we, you, and they were. This is the affirmative. As by example, uh, uh, as by example, if you say, I was 35 years old, or I was born in, in 1970 something, uh, you were my friend, she was, uh, she was my student, okay? So that's the affirmative of the verb to be. The negative you have, uh, like I wasn't, okay? I was not, uh, I was not there when it occurs, okay? Uh, you were not my friend. Do you believe it? You were not my friend. Uh, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, we weren't, you weren't, they weren't, or they were not, as you prefer. An interrogative is, was I? Uh, was I, were you? Were you my friend? Do you remember, were you my friend? Uh, was he your student? Uh, and that's the use of verb to be in an interrogative way. That's <clears throat> the verb to be. Okay, so do you have question with this topic? Could you create a question uh, or, or a sentence using this form of the verb to be? Do you have question here, guys? This is the 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 way to make the 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 the, the pass of the verb to be in the three ways: affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay. Hello. No. Okay. Let's gonna go to another thing. Simple past tense. In simple past tense, we have we have to have two main verbs. The first one is regular verbs. I mean, and they have a spelling rules like a uh, uh, verbs that they the the base form plus ed. Like you could see here. Let me see if I can take notes. As by example, walk. You have to add ed and you have walked. Play. You have to add ed and plate. This is for the past of the regular verb. Verbs ending in e just add d. Like, liked. Move, moved. Verbs ending in a consonant, in a consonant, sorry, plus y. They change the white by I and, and add ED. 
carry, carry, study, study. Some verbs ending in a single consonant. The second last letter is a vowel, double the last letter ed. Plan, plant, stop, stopped. Uh, this says that they have to double the consonant. Okay, like plan, like stop. Mm -hmm. These are the regular verb for the past, okay? Regular verbs. After we have with the, okay, we have with the irregular verb. Again, we have the regular verb here. The regular verbs are the verbs that they just, just add ed. I worked, you worked. But in this, in the case of the, irregular verb you have to list them by heart by memory i went you ran he went she ran it went we run you went this is misspelled this is we run okay that you went they run uh and at the end this is uh, remember in past we have three forms of the verb what well, right now we just need two that are the 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 infinitive and the simple past. Uh, and we have regular and irregular verb. The regular verbs, which are the regular verbs, teacher? The regular verbs, they just add ed. And the irregular verbs, they have to change. I mean, you have to learn them by heart. It means that you have to learn them by heart, by memory. I mean, you have to know which are them. No, it's because not like this that you just have to add ed. And this is the structure. So for the affirmative, you have subject, verb in the second form, we can say plus subject. I went to a school yesterday. Subject, I, verb, went, and object to a school yesterday. Negative, subject plus, did not plus verb in one, verb one plus object. I did not go to a school yesterday. Subject I plus did not, did not, verb in, 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 in verb one, go and to a school yesterday. And interrogative, did plus subject plus verb in one plus object. Did I go to a school yesterday? And I ask you, and the way to answer when they ask you did, is yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay, guys, did you understand? Hello, did you understand? Hello, no teacher, no, who says no, that? Teacher. No. Okay, yes, I will teacher. explain again. Let me see. Please, please. Okay. Let's gonna start from the beginning. Okay, this is the negative of the verb to be. Is this clear? This is is this clear? Yes or not? I get it, teacher. Okay. Yeah. But the second one, the verbs in past we have two kind of verbs. So. Even also, we have two kind of verbs always. The regular verbs and irregular verbs. The regular verbs are the verbs that they end in ID, in ED, sorry, no ID, ED. So it means that to this verb, we just have to add ED to the end of the verb. Like walk, walked, play, played, like, light, move, moved, carry, carried, Study, study, plan, plan, stop, stop. Okay. But the other ones are the irregular verbs. These irregular verbs, you have to learn them by heart. I mean, they don't, they don't, they, they don't add a ed. They have, they change completely. Okay. So the, stru the structure is the same. Just you have to remember if they are regular or irregular verb to uh, at the time to apply 
uh, the past in the affirmative. Again. Uh huh. So, so, teacher. Ah? Huh? I'm good. I so, so. So, so. Understand. Well, it's let's a, gonna do some thing. examples. Let's gonna, I think so that we have a little time to do some examples. First of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, let me say. Okay. Verb. Uh huh. Okay. There. No, that's it. Regular, and we say irregular. Okay, verb. Verb one, that's gonna say like that. Verb two, or the past. And verb three. And verb three. And uh, Pass, this is pass, and this is PP that is better known as past participle. Okay, as by example. Mm -hmm. Regular, let's gonna say a regular verb. A common regular verb, play. Play. Play it. And this is played also. A irregular verb. Let's gonna say just R for regular, and we are gonna say I for irregular verb, okay? A speak, a speak is a verb, and that is a speak, a spark, and this is a spoken. So that's the way. In this case, we have to understand this, that the regular verbs, they don't change anything. No cambian para nada en el pasado. Los verbos irregulares sí cambian de acuerdo al pasado que ocupen. Por ejemplo, el caso de speak, spoke, spoken. ¿Okay? Quiero decir, y lo digo en español un momento, que para los verbos irregulares me los tengo que aprender de memoria. Los, irregu los, los, los irregulares. Los regulares, no, no, I don't have problem. No tengo problema porque solo tengo que poner ed de acuerdo According to some rules, de acuerdo a algunas reglas. ¿Cuáles reglas, teacher? Las reglas que estaba enseñando aquí. Si terminan en, si la base de forma termina sencilla, solo agregan ed. Si termina en eso, lo agrego de. Si termina en una consonante, una consonante más una y, cambio la y y, cambio, y pongo la y latina y agrego ed. Y los verbos, algunos verbos terminados en una consonante, doblan la consonante. Como plan, plant, stop, stop. ¿Y cómo lo sé? Pues es regla. ¿Ah? Es básicamente. Luego dije que esta es la forma. Vea, por eso dice verbo en la segunda forma. ¿Cuál es la segunda forma? ¿Ah? Verbo en la segunda. Por eso lo hemos puesto aquí. Y aquí verbo uno. Porque eso también lo tengo que saber. Cuando la hago en afirmativa, vea, el verbo, este... Va en pasado. Pero en negativa, el verbo va en presente. Y entonces, ¿dónde está el pasado? Ah, el pasado está en el auxiliar did not. ¿Ok? Ese es el punto. Y lo mismo aquí. Para hacer una pregunta es did más el sujeto más el verbo en la forma 1. Quiere decir el verbo en infinitivo. Y para contestar en, en, preguntas, en preguntas cortas es yes I did o no I didn't. ¿Quedé claro con este espacio de haberlo explicado en español, niños? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Sí, está bien. Ok. So, I'm going to go again to the English. Ok, that's the way to use the simple past, ok? Lo mismo con el verbo to be. 
El verbo to be, esta es la forma. Mire, was, were, solo es saber a qué sujeto le corresponde was y were y básicamente dónde va ubicado. Si es eh, afirmativo, sujeto, verbo to be, complemento. Si es negativo, sujeto, verbo to be, negativo, complemento. Y si es pregunta, verbo to be primero y luego el sujeto y luego el complemento. ¿Ok? Hmm. So, okay. am I clear with okay. that one? So, is it okay? Yes? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. So, if we are clear, let me see. What do I have for you to do it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Fire. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are going to go to work like a half hour, I think so. So you are going to work on this exercise, okay? Exercise number five, okay? Exercise number five. Okay, exercise number five. You're going to work you are going to write the sentences in the simple past, uh, or the past of verb to be or simple past. Look at here again, you have here. So look at here, it was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. We were excited about service. I gave my account information. He called yesterday night, the program worked very well. They bought that product last week. Okay, so then you are gonna work on this and I will send it to you more extra sentences, okay? I don't know if I will send to the group or I will send to the chat, to the personal chat here in the breakout room, okay, guys? Okay, Estaba practicando en eso, pero lo tenía ahí, no tengo el documento. Alguien no tiene a la mano porque lo cerré. Ahorita lo comparto. No, vive que ya rato, ¿no? Pero, pero una vez lo pueden ver. Sí. Okay, how to use pass or bien en simple pass. Afirma. Yeah, 
El simple paz hay paz hay paz en I was proud. Inter no, dice no sé, no me sale bien dice fue el interés del producto estoy interesada en el producto ok, ok number three is three no, pero dice baby they send the contract by email. Ahora le vas a poner S E N T instead of send. That's the the, the pass of send. It's an irregular verb. They send the contract on my mail in my mail to my mail I don't know to my mail yeah that is how it goes the contract to my mail to my mail La última dice, he be disappointed, he was disappointed, he was disappointed, he was disappointed. Aquí está la Sandra, Fátima, la Ana, el teacher. Y Roberto. Voy a hacer un mandado, ya ven. The supervisor 
Ahí el verbo está en pasado, mira. Sí. Y gay, Kim, Given, como que es. Como es afirmativa. Sí. Eh, sería the supervisor gave no the supervisor was was pero ahí sería give me Qué callado está David. Who? David. <laughs> Very quiet. <laughs> Yo callado. Ah, uh, viendo que. Ah, que ya va a llover de Ranch. Nueve a las cinco. Seis en. Seis en vida. Con Doc Mike. Y es el día más empachado acá de la No. Yo creo, que, yo, yo creo que en ese de, de agregarle el tubo. ¿Cuál? ¿Un file? ¿WhatsApp? ¿Cómo quedaría entonces? Dale ahí. Es que, es, que, es que fíjate que yo le entiendo como que estuviera correcta. The send, the contract. My G, my, 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 my to me, my contract to my email. No. Ellos envían el contrato mi mail. O oh, was. Was. They was. They was send the contract. Vamos a ver qué ha mandado. Ah, interesante. Sí. Sí, ahí me equivocaba en, en la. You were by. No. No, What is the verb there? You buy. In the second one. You buy. You have to discover the verb. No, in the first one, it's okay. I was me falta una letra, teacher, ahí. ¿eh? ¿Ah? Me falta una letra, no. Ah, well, but it's interesting. No, but that's okay. I was interested. And the second one, which is the verb? Why verb? By. Exactly, by. So the verb in past has to be by. And what Todavía is the by? 
That's the point. Se le agrega la y latina. No, y it's irregular. Va is irregular. Oh. Ah, sí. Aha, uh -huh. I'm interested, brother. Se me va la señal, por Gabby, can you zoom the page? Can you unplug? Yeah, like this. What about here, girls? No hay nadie, se puedo. Ah, ya nos fuimos. Ah, yeah. Sandra is here, but is busy, and Roberto, I don't know what's happened to him also. No, Roberto anda por la tienda, dijo. He's an obedient man. Yes, I know. <laughs> ¿Dónde se le quita? No. Ya he mandado otros ejercicios, lo vamos a hacer, quiero ver. Yes. Ok. Because you can get bored. In order to don't get bored, maybe I send you work to do. Write the sentencing in the simple pass. Yeah, rewrite the sentence in simple pass. Porque B. Uh, the point, girls, that you are committing a mistake is that you are writing verb to be for everything. As by example, in the second one is you bought. No, you were bought. You bought. Yeah, you bought. Uh huh. And bought is misspelling. Is B O U. You bought. But, but it's B O U, no B U O, B O U. Uh huh. B O, no. B O U. No, no, no. Quítale la O y póngale la U. Sí. No, ahí, ya, ahí la tiró ya la U lleva en vez ¿Vos? de la la O y la U ahí lo escribió en el chat ajá ah, sí. ah, ah, Bow Bow solo la O y la U póngale y como lo tenía no <risa> Exactly. B O U. And the third one is she read. Was is no. When you say was, oh, so sorry. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> the, no, I mean, le ha puesto de más el was en la tercera. No tiene que llevar en todos el verbo to be. ¿Y cuándo lo lleva, teacher? Mira. 
¿Y en qué ocasión le va a llevar el verbo to be, teacher? En este caso, solo cuando sea el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, como cuando aquí lo dice la oración. Solo cuando sea hacer o estar. ¿Perdón? Solo cuando sea hacer o estar va a llevar el... Exacto. Ah, ok. Donde lleva el B. Ajá. Como la primera. No está mal, pero en la primera. Ah, vaya. The finish sentences. Brenda and Roxana. Hello. The finish yes. sentences. Yeah. The okay. finish. Yes. Go. Pero... Pues una, no sé, ahorita que está el teacher aquí que me diga, no sé si yo me he equivocado, pero yo siento que aquí en la primera le faltaría como decir in a product, ajá. O, I don't know if you can share by the screen or you can share by the chat. In the chat, uh, Maria has shared the sentence. Okay, if, if Maria can do it, you can do it to write, to see, to check them. She did it. The, the sentence are on the main chat in the breakout room. Okay, so you can share them right now because I cannot see them right now. Can you share them again? Yeah, let me let me copy and paste to again. See the, I mean, I don't know if you can share by the screen or you can share by the chat of the chat of this room. Okay, I shared again. Ah, excellent. This Thank you. I was I was interested in a product. Yeah, you bought the iron on December, I think so. On the December. supervisor gave me a discount. They, I imagine that is they. They sent the contract. I mean, it less in the letter Y. Contract to my mail, yeah, and he was disappointed. Yeah, that's it. Now you have on WhatsApp another one to, to continue having fun. Okay. <laughs> if you want to continue having fun, you can have you can have another on the WhatsApp. You have another document to work on WhatsApp. Okay, right now I'm on WhatsApp. <laughs> yes, Woo! another document to have fun. Yeah, funny <laughs> class. If you no. can share, I mean, you can share it's, the screen, guys, or you can share word. the sentences by the chat to check them. Hello? You can Hello? share the sentences by the screen. You can share the screen or you can share them by chat to check the sentences. The list can oh. send in the group. Huh? The list can be in the group. Yeah, in this in this in this chat of the room. Yeah. Okay. I will check them right now in the chat. Let me see. Uh -huh. Uh, sample, okay, here we
Vamos a estar listo. Es que estamos haciendo, solo es de ir. Solo es de ir, de que vayamos compartiendo las que vayamos completando. De quiere el teacher, bro. Ah, en el chat, ¿la quieres? Ah, sí, en el chat para ir viéndolas ahí. Ah, vale. Ah, si ah, ya, yeah. but the other one of the manual, no. The manual, no, the, the last list. Okay. Y sí, ¿cuál otra tengo? Ah, the project, video game. Yeah, did she exercise? Yeah, that's okay. Did she exercise? Yeah. They project. Push. So, okay, good. I hated cooking, yes. Okay, when I was here again, you can share. They played video games. Very good. Cuando esté aquí otra vez, la vuelven a compartir, porque si no estoy, no la voy a poder ver. Voy a salir por las otras salas, okay? Oh, okay. Here at the bride, supervisor gave me a discount. They sent the contract my email. He was disappointed. Very good. You have to work on the WhatsApp groups I have sent. Tienen que trabajar las que tra las que mandé por el WhatsApp. Estas ahorita. Ah, okay, ahorita. Te... <laughs> I'm sorry. <Sure>. <laughs> How was everything by here, guys? I I had a question. If you need that, I check the sentence. You can you can share the screen if you have on your screen, or you can share by the by the chat of this room. Okay. Check the sentences. Okay. The match of sent in the group. Uh, yeah, we... on the chat of the group. Okay, okay. Me estoy yendo bastante la señal a mí aquí. What? Ya no estamos, Brent. ¿Verdad? Varias veces me va sacando. No, no, ya. Igual, igual aquí. Bueno, sí, algo me falla, pero se ve que ya quiere llover. Está relampagueando. <risa> no, bueno, ya. Ah, okay. Gabriela Vázquez. What's up, Gabriela Vázquez? Nothing, teacher. Mucho silencio. Oh, the rating is so hard. Solo en la activa.
unas negativas es que va así, solo le vas a poner they didn't drink tea, ellos no bebieron té. La número 16, they start class at 8. No sé si PM o AM, va. Eh, aquí solo cambias el, como es una oración eh, afirmativa, solo le el verbo, este verbo es el verbo. No, como lo dice, drogo. No, drobe. Con N al final. Ah, no. Do they drop? No. Did no. they drive? Did. Did. Yeah, because remember that the past, I show Did. you the past to do as an interrogative, a, a sentence. I mean, in past is that one. Let me oh, share yeah. to you. Yeah. They... Did, did they, did did they travel? Uh -huh. Look at. Yeah. And the rest, if plus because subject because plus verb in the right form, okay? Okay. Did they drive? Yeah, that's okay. That's the right pass. Did they drive? La once bicho. Work it. Work it. Work it. At hotel. Jenny worked at, at hotel. En la doce va a ser did you swing. Did, did you swing? La doce. Yeah. En la mitad hicimos bicho. Ah, ya tú. No me ponen las pilas ustedes. Ahí. <risa> <risa> pues estás callado, David. Eh, no, hombre, yo se ando, pero que agarro fuego. Man. Yo sueño, tengo. Sueño, sueño. Dick. You swing. You swing. Cuando son preguntas, cambia el do a did. Uh -huh. Y el verbo se mantiene. Así le entendí al teacher. Sí, es, que, es que está la estructura de la, de la, de la oración. Es did más subject más verb más objective. Okay, I think so that you have worked very well and it's very hard to understand, but I think so that you can understand. Uh, remember that if you are writing a question, you have to use did. If you are writing a negative, you have you have to write did not. Okay, that's it. So right now you are going to write down you have to write five sentences of activities you did these previous days. As by example, uh, uh, I went to visit my family, okay? I bought some groceries at the supermarket, something like that. I went to the beach. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, those activities that you did. Uh, or oh, I sent an email to my boss. Okay, I don't know. So you have to write down five sentences or of activities you did these previous days, okay? Okay? And if you have that I correct the sentences, meanwhile, cuando yo esté en el grupo, puede escribirlas en el chat, solo cuando yo esté. Si las escribe antes, no las veo. Si las escribe después, no las veo. Y me dice si quiere que lo corrija alguna o tiene preguntas en alguna, ¿ok? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. okay.
Cuando dice frases, oraciones, creo. You have to write down five sentences, girls. Cinco oraciones de cosas que ustedes hicieron los cinco días anteriores. Ok. Cada una o por todo. No, everyone. Johnny. Cada una. Yes. Exercise. The simple path. Teacher, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Um, excuse me, and the, the activity um, was a, a right activities in past for, for our days. Yeah, right? I mean, like you, as my example, uh, what did you do that uh, these, these previous days? Like okay. uh, you were you were to visit your you you were uh, you 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 visited your mom as my example and i went to the gym i don't know i mean five activities you did these previous days and it has to be individually okay okay perfect perfect teacher I don't know who was Gabriela Vasquez. Yes. Gabi, que entonces. Y entonces. Gabi. Y entonces, Robert. Hola, este, pues te informo que no sé qué vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Porque no podía ingresar a la sala, así que me tocó salirme de todo e intentar ingresar. Eh, sí, no te preocupes, lo que vamos a hacer son este, cinco oraciones utilizando las formas de los verbos eh, negativas o positivas, eh, oraciones eh, con los pasados. Eh, como lo vimos en la en la break up room de ah, yeah. no, o sea fácil ah, piece of cake esa piece of cake <risa> <risa> piece of este, cake sí es bien es bien chiche excelente no no te preocupes uh -huh. este eh, no, la, no me cosas que... Hola. Nada, ajá. La verdad. Sí. No es necesario poner el team para... Esta es la mía. These days I went to social security for medicine. Yes, that's Ahí había... <laughs> teníamos, teníamos una duda, teacher. Con Tell me, seguro, ask me. Seguro social. Ah. Uh, um, correcta and... I mean, um, there, if you, I mean, if you write down just is for us, for us is, but it's social security. It's social sure. security. Cuando usa sure, 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 sure como el, uh -huh. seguro. Pero es que sure es seguro de asegurar. 
Oh. Oh, no. Y, y de seguridad Express. es secure, o security. Sure es de seguro, pero de asegurar. ¿Seguro? Seguro. Sure my car, así. No. De use, no. no, no como no. asegurar mi carro, no, ¿no? Como, no. Es que está diciendo como, por ejemplo, tú preguntas algo. Eh, ¿Fuiste ayer fuiste ayer a visitar a mi mamá? Sí. ¿Seguro? ¿Are you sure? sure. Ajá. Ahí sí. Pero en todo lo demás es, por ejemplo... Eh, un guardia de, segur de, de, segur de seguridad, security guard, and all the things um, are security. And security light? No. Ah, sure. Ah, no. Esa es otra palabra. Esa es assurance. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Que es la aseguranza de carros. Assurance. Mm. O sea, veamos. Sure, es como, sure es como cuando tú estás diciendo seguro, pero de, 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 ¿estás seguro de algo? Sure. Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Yes. Secure es de seguro, pero de asegurar. O la like security. ¿Ah? Y asegurar de aseguranza de carros o seguro de vida es assurance o insurance. Depende. Sorry. Assurance, uh -huh. assurance o insurance, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, sí, leyendo la suena como aseguranza. Ajá, uh -huh. that's it. Robert, tell me. So you have to stay today with me. You are the winner of the lotto today. What? <laughs> what? Did you hear very well? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's okay, thank you. Okay, that's a different, Mr. Romero. Security. Thank you, teacher. Don't worry. Yo estaba hablando, Fátima, y no me había fijado que tenía el micrófono apagado. Ay, yo pensé que no hablaba conmigo. Con razón, vi que nadie me contestaba, iba a decirles las que yo había hecho. I made Ay, stew, stew chicken. What is a stew chicken? ¿Hm? What is a stew chicken? A stew. Gallo en chicha, ¿o qué es? Guisado. <risa> Guisado. Guisado. Ah, ¿Cómo lo ve? Guisado no me convence la palabra. ¿Y cómo lo pongo? Ahorita. En salsa. Ajá. Vale. Pero lo vamos a checar. Si es que es lo que da el... I mean, it's the one that it says de, de, de... It's you. Ajá. Ah, sí, pero ahí está. Ajá. Stew. That is a stew. 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 Ahí tengo duda. For, for four. Por cuatro horas. Está bien así. Uh, tenía esa dudita. No, but it's a... For four hours. Yeah, but it's okay. On Monday I was okay. in a training. In a training. Stew. Stu, stu, Sé que es stu. Stu, stu. 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 Yeah. I made stu chicken for dinner. Yeah. That's okay. Está bueno. Ajá. On Monday I was in a training for four hours. Yeah. Ruth, in a training, just that's the mistake. In a training. Okay. In a, la, On amen. Saturday, I was at, at the church with my friends. Catherine, at the church. Uh -huh. that, that is missing. That. At the church. Uh -huh. Walk on. If you want to show me the sentences, you can 
right now on the chat, okay? If, if not right now, you can do it after when I go again here. Do you have sentences? Okay, no. Okay, Diego Romano, I went to the gym yesterday. It's okay. That's okay, Mr. Rano. I went to the gym yesterday. Mm -hmm. I visited my grandmother last Friday. Yeah. It's okay also. I sell. I don't know. And that one, no. Because the pass of sell is another one. That is not in past. That is in present. Mm, I... Yeah, because the pass of the sell is... <laughs> I don't know. Ah, it's S O S O L D sold. Oh, okay. Sell sold. Uh -huh. Sell sell sold sold. Yeah, that is because it's uh, irregular and it's sell. Uh, oh, yes, sold. it's irregular. So yeah, okay. So yeah, that's why. So yeah, so that's it. Uh huh. That's why okay. I was trying, and I went to the supermarket in Saturday. So, Roxana, on Saturday, I went to the supermarket on Saturday, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> Why, Gabriela? Thank you. Um, bueno, teacher. No, the yeah, I, I know that is an advertising for me. Yeah, she's scared when you are. Yeah, she's scared. She is scared of me. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah it's a very good question. What's up, Gabby? What's wrong? What's wrong, Gabby? What did I? What? What did I? What I did to you? When I, what did I do to you? Uh huh. With yeah, that. Yeah. What Nothing did I too. do to you? No, mm -hmm. no estoy ahorita. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, but you're with Robert. Okay, Robert. What's up, Robert? <laughs> I'm doing well. We are about to finish. So if you have some sentences, you can share right now on the chat of this group. And I'm going to... Yeah, we, we already write down on it. So you can check them. You can check. You can share there. You can share them here by the chat and I will check them. Okay, let me share some of them, but if you want, I can speak. Okay, do it. Uh, the one, first one says, I bought shoes on Saturday. I bought shoes? Yes. Okay, uh, that's okay. I, I met her, I, I'm sorry, I met her at my workplace. Uh, I met her, how, how do you write down met? Uh, M-E-T. Excellent, that's okay. The regular verb. Yeah. The next one is using using the verb to be in past. Huh? I was at church on Sunday with my son and my mom. Okay, that's okay. The la the number four is we were, but this is a past progress. I don't I don't know is if it is it okay. We were playing on on the on the street on Sunday. Oh, that's okay. I mean, that's not the structure that we are studying right now, but it is it is writing, okay? We were playing because it's past progressive or past progressive. Yes. Uh, it, it's only missing one, but I was waiting for my mate, uh, uh, Gabriela, but she was uh, get ready, but you just get into this breakout room and <laughs> then you know, you, you see you saw her what did what he did what she did i'm sorry okay no problem no problem
have some sentences, you can share them by the by this chat room and I will correct them. We was. We was what? We were. We was late for class yesterday. Ah, he um, was late. Yeah, he was late for class yesterday. Yeah. Uh, last weekend I went to the mo to the mail. What is mail? Mister Roberto. Ah, oh. to the mall. Yeah, sorry, to the mall. I went to the mall, yeah. Last weekend, I went to the mall, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher, in the foreign, the sentencing and interrogative. Um, <laughs> I was late to the class yesterday, sería. Was he? Was, was, was late. Was he late? Remember, verb to be, subject, and complement. Was he late at classes yesterday? Okay. Was he late? And interesting. Yeah. Ooh. I start the right in my in my country. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> in, Robert, no, in, no, Ryan, to home. In in mine, it's raining. Uh, one hour ago, maybe. What? Ahora. Yeah, ago. Ago. Hace una hora. Ago is. Mm. One hour ago. Bueno, ya vino para acá. <laughs> it's walking. Teacher, un sitio para poder practicar el listening. Eh... El Randall's Lab, por ejemplo, puede ser uno. Yo voy a ver si se lo pongo aquí en, en el chat, lo voy a poner, ya que me lo pide. Thank you, teacher. Sorry, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Sí. 
Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Okay. Ana Maria Riva Durán. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Brenda Angélica Díaz. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Okay. Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Ah, los trastes. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Presente. Ok. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present teacher. Good. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Jamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Presente. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Presente, chair. Eh, David y los que quieran, ese es un buen sitio en línea. Hay un montón de ejercicios. Listening. Todo lo que quieran ahí lo pueden. Hay de varios niveles, desde el principiante, intermedio y el avanzado. Están ordenados por ejercicios. Tiene... tiene laboratorios, entonces es un buen sitio, David me dice, mire, un buen sitio para practicar listening, es ese. El otro es este, quiero ver, sí, este es otro bastante buenísimo, eh, este es otro muy buenísimo, no le estoy haciendo propaganda a nadie, no me están pagando ni cinco, I clarify it. No voy a decir, a ver, ¿cuánto están pagando al teacher por promover? No, any. Ni cinco le voy ganando. So, pero son, they are good sites, websites to practice listening in English. Okay. So, eh, I hope so. You have understand the topic of today. Espero que hayan aprendido del tema de hoy. It's uh, complicated. It's a little bit complicated. It's un poquito complicado. But I hope so that you have learned very well. Okay. So in that way we can say you can close your eyes and go to your bed, students, because they are raining cats and dogs close to my home. I don't know from you, okay? Please do your homeworks. Les escribí a algunos que no habían hecho las tareas hoy en la mañana. Por favor. Siputi, por favor, hagan las tareas. No me van a escribirles temprano, Siputis. Please, okay? So do your homeworks and have a good night. Hey. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Mr. Guzman. Okay, teacher. How can I I'm help here. you, Mr. Guzman? Uh, repeat, please. Hmm? Repeat. How can I help you? Como le ayudo? Uh, but for example, when you... Uh, Arrange the group. I will be uh, with a person more serious. 
<laughs> okay, I will take into account. Believe it or not, I don't do it, but I will try to, I mean, I, I will explain to you that I don't do it because, I mean, how can I tell you? I mean, like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, it's like uh, the machine. Soon they say, I just say, uh, prepare for breakout rooms and he start to fix them up. But so as you are asking me, can I ask you as by example, at least by chat, because I don't know if I've le explico así brevemente eh, casi los hace Zoom los grupos igual si usted me lo pide yo voy a tratar de, de que usted me diga más o menos con quienes, dígamelo por chat para solo leerlo y que no quede grabado porque sería feo decir, mire póngame con fulano y me engano, así que por chat tal vez ahorita usted me puede escribir y me dice de algunos nombres que ha considerado que puede estar con ellos en, el, en los grupos, porque al menos lo he visto a usted bastante participativo, no sé qué ha pasado ahí en los grupos que no me he dado cuenta Roberto oh, no, lo que pasa es que uh, por ejemplo hay unas compañeras que como que no se centran en lo que estamos haciendo no que se ponen a veces a hablar de otra cosa y yo mejor no <risa> En parte, es cierto no me siento, no. por estar hablando de otras cosas ah, bueno, este, creo yo que tengo en cuenta qué compañeras son voy a tratar de, de ponerlo más un poco más como los compañeros que sí se centran en el trabajo pero por ejemplo en el grupo que estuvo con el caballero que estaba hoy con el mister Romero siento yo que él trabaja sí, sí, sí Prácticamente todos los hombres se bajan con los que yo he estado. <risa> ok. Exacto. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta. Igual las chicas. ¿Eh? Chicas también hay quienes sí se rebuscan. Sí, de pero las chicas sí. hay quienes sí se rebuscan bastante. Sí, yo sé, pero hay algunas. Sí, ya, 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 ya me di cuenta de entrar a esos grupos en los que más parece así como que bueno. <risa> sí, ayer estuve entrando así en algunos sí. de ellos. Que las compañeras... Y lo otro que quizás es que un poquito de, de español cuando explica, porque me cuesta a veces un poquito como entender. Vale. Voy a tratar ambas consideraciones, Roberto. Lo que pasa es que a veces se nos va explicando eso, ¿verdad? Que en la medida en la que ustedes puedan irse acostumbrando al inglés, que se les hable mucho inglés. Pero, y por eso es que hoy, por lo menos hoy, básicamente... En el tema sentía yo que iban a quedar más perdidos si yo lo explicaba puramente en inglés. Por eso es que me bajé un poco al español para que entendieran. Asumo yo que con esa explicación quedaron un poquito más claros. Sí, es que de hecho cuando yo estudiaba en ISTA y con otros profesores que yo había tenido, eh, hacían la explicación en inglés y después los medios decían en español para que uno tuviera la idea. Pero como le digo, lo voy a tomar en cuenta y de hecho que por lo menos este quizás es una consideración que hoy hice por el tema, ¿verdad? Porque como le digo, yo vi el tema bien árido y, y yo sabía uh -huh. que si lo explicaba puramente en inglés, así como que todo, ya sentí yo también que a veces ni contestan con tal de no decirme no, no, no hemos entendido. Así como que si le decimos que no entendimos, no, pero ustedes tienen todo el derecho y yo puedo explicar las veces que sea necesario el tema, pues. ¿Ah? Y sí, por lo menos eh, hasta donde pueda voy a tratar de bajarme al español, ¿no? Pero igual, como le digo también, este, bueno, siendo muy honesto, es por ustedes y porque, como le digo, a, a las, la, las personas que nos dicen a nosotros, mire, eh, traten de dar las clases así, en un 95% en inglés, le dicen, ¿no? Eh, yo sé que algunos así como que pero es en parte como para que se vayan acostumbrando un poco, para que eduquen el oído, pero igual va en este caso, por eso como le digo yo, traté de, de hacerlo ya por lo menos este tema, sí, hacerlo un poquito en español, para que ustedes no se me perdieran mucho. Pero lo voy a tomar en sí. cuenta, Roberto. Sí, eso es lo único, porque por lo demás está, estoy bien, siento que estaba aprendiendo bastante. 
Ah, ok. Ah. Lo único que sí siento, pero eso ya no es por parte de ustedes, es que a veces que los grupos son como que muy grandes y a veces como que cuesta un poco más. Así. Es como Voy que a tratar no es más también. Difícil. Lo que pasa es que fíjese y le comento lo otro, que a veces los hago así porque, digamos, hay personas que usted dice, ¿verdad? Digamos, hay muchas, hay muchas variantes. Hay unos, por ejemplo, usted dice que no se concentran. Hay otros que solo están como, como le digo, digamos, están conectados, pero no están. Algunos ya me han dicho, mire, teacher, no, no puedo estar, por ejemplo, estoy trabajando y voy a estar de oyente. Entonces, eh, ya he considerado a veces hacer como decir, mire, hago estos grupos solo de estas personas que no están trabajando, algunos que no se conectan, y hago de los que se conectan. Pero a veces es bien delicado porque, digamos, eh, mmm, no sé, pues a veces tengo que estar pendiente de quiénes son los que no están. O a veces veo que algunos están ocupados, a veces ni me escriben y los ingreso al grupo y ni hablan para nada. Creo que a veces ya he visto que están tres, pero solo dos son los que más participan. Sí, Entonces, sí, este, sí. voy buscando ese equilibrio de modo de, de no afectarlos a ustedes, digamos, a usted que yo lo he oído participar bastante consecutivamente, y a otros que, que a veces están o no están, bueno y el otro caso es algunos que se conectan que se desconectan, ya sea por internet eh, o por otra razón y pues ya cuando los agrego, tal vez los agrego a otro grupo que no estaban porque es el que es más pequeño o lo hago también en función sin ánimo de nada eh, y quizás está mal, pero Trataré a veces de que usted, por ejemplo, que es alguien que trabaja, hasta cierto punto pueda motivar a aquellos que no lo hacen. Porque hay gente que, perdóneme, pero solo viene de oyente. Usted trata, yo lo he visto cuando pongo a leer, usted es de los que más lee, usted es de los que más participa. O sea, usted está ahí como tratando, ¿no? Y mientras que hay gente que, que, que está casi totalmente callada. Entonces... La labor también a veces es de que por lo menos este, usted que hable, por lo menos si habla con otro, ellos vayan aprendiendo de usted. Aunque yo le entiendo a usted que usted quiere aprender de, de alguno de ellos. Porque, por ejemplo, creo que ha sido uno de los que tal vez está más o menos es Diego Ruano. Sí, Diego y Roberto. Ajá, Diego y Roberto son los que están, digamos, un poquito más digamos, comprende bastante más las cosas, hasta para hablar y todo eso. ¿Ah? Entonces, y vaya, pero fíjate, le voy a decir algo. Eh, o sea, desde un punto de vista pedagógico, quizás sería bueno dejarlos ahí o juntos. Pero también desde uh -huh. otro punto de vista sería como, este, mejor los dejo con otra gente. Y hablaba, por ejemplo, he hablado con, con Diego y me dice, no, me dice, yo a veces me quedo callado con tal de que los compañeros vayan participando, me dice. ¿Ah? entonces todas esas consideraciones son las que hago eh, Roberto a la hora de, de hacer los grupos pero igual lo voy a, voy a tomar en cuenta sus consideraciones eh, para ver que, cómo puedo mejorar eh, igual si es cierto a veces también como usted dice a algunas señoritas <ríe> le encanta ya ahí en el grupo ponen a hablar español y hablan de de las quejas de la empresa que no sé qué y así, y así como que por sí. favor así. A mí, a mí lo que me motiva y me gusta es cuando estoy con un grupo que trabaja y que uh, hacen que yo me esfuerce más por extender y ponerme al mismo nivel. No, y es que comprendo su, como le digo, comprendo su filosofía. La filosofía es, pues si usted quiere saber más, cuéntate con los que saben. Uh -huh. Esa es la filosofía. Si usted quiere saber más, tiene que juntarse con alguien que sabe más que usted. Porque de ahí va a aprender. Pero como le digo, voy a tratar, voy a estar al pendiente. No le prometo nada por, por la variedad del grupo, pero al menos este, voy a tratar de, de, de irlo teniendo en cuenta. Como le digo, lo que sucede es algo, ¿verdad? Que así sin ánimo de nada, quizás... Eh, Así, sin ánimo de nada, como usted dice, los caballeros, pues primero está quizás, ya dijimos que entre Roberto y Diego, y luego quizás usted está usted y David, que son los que tratan de esforzarse más. Entonces, ya imagínese hacer un grupo, digamos, póngale que lo hago de David, de usted, de Diego y de Roberto, sería un buen grupo. Es un buen grupo. 
un grupo así, calidad. Pero hasta cierto punto siento que dejaría motos a los otros, porque los otros no aprenderían de ustedes. Pero lo voy a considerar, como le digo, tiene toda la razón y vamos a ver qué se puede hacer dentro de lo que permite. Sí, entiendo. ¿Ah? <risa> O sea, hasta cierto punto privaría, digamos, y lo digo así, de su esfuerzo y de su conocimiento a los demás. ¿Ah? Porque, quiera sí o no, yo entiendo usted cuando dice, mire, que me tengo que trabajar, pero hay gente aquí que me cuesta hacerla trabajar. Entonces, ya por lo menos, viéndolo a usted, usted es un motor. Y por eso ahorita, por ejemplo, creo que si, no sé si ya ante, ante, desde hoy que ya vi que con David Romero trabaja bastante bien usted, porque es alguien que se concentra y trata de trabajar en lo suyo. ¿Ah? pero a Roberto por ejemplo y a, y a Diego casi nunca los dejo juntos porque ya sé yo que Diego digamos de alguna forma es más me imagino que por el puesto que usted dentro de la empresa trata de sacarle chispa a los demás y Roberto por su conocimiento motiva usted igual con David trabajan y a veces el tercero que está ahí no trabaja pero más o menos va aprendiendo de ustedes entonces por ahí va el asunto Roberto, pero vuelvo y le digo, voy a tratar en la medida de lo posible, más de alguna vez, ya que me dio la idea, lo voy a hacer. Oye. Sí, está, está bien, entonces. De ahí no tiene ningún comentario de la clase, del maestro. No, lo único es eso que le mencionaba, que a veces me cuesta entender un poquito cuando es solo inglés, porque ahí me falta a mí también adquirir un poco de vocabulario. No, pero cuando no, no haya problema, no se preocupe. O sea, voy a tratar de al menos de ya ir así como el Spanglish. ¿Ah? ¿Ok? No problem, sí, Roberto. Yo siento que aprendo más así con las dos formas. Llevar español, inglés, español, inglés, porque así tacto más rápido. Ok. Va. ¿Está bien entonces? Bueno. No se preocupe. ¿Sería todo? ¿Ah? ¿Sería todo? Sí, ya hasta cumplimos hasta de más del tiempo, Roberto. Ah, bueno. Bye. Bueno, adiós. Good night. Good night.